member Jesenia Sablehouse and I'm one of the veterinarians here at the Austin Humane Society. I have been here for three and a half years and I love working with the staff and our mission at the Austin Humane Society. So I am a full-time veterinarian staff here that does all the medical and surgical care for our animals. We also we're also involved in the community cat program that we serve uh, the city of Austin. I'm proud to say that I am also a veterinarian in the United States Army Reserve. I have been in the United States Army for eight years now. I am a major and a veterinarian in the Army. I take care of the military working dogs and I do all the food protection and services for the military. I recently deployed last year and was gone uh, during the pandemic, so the coronavirus going around. So I was gone and away from the Austin Humane Society for almost a whole year, but I am back and I'm ready to take on more of the animals that we can serve for the Austin Humane Society. This is my friend Teddy, as you can see, is very affectionate. Uh, Teddy is an adult terrier mix who is available for adoption here at the Austin Humane Society. He would make a great pet for a loving home. So I will talk to you a little bit about what we do here at the Austin Humane Society. So we do all the surgical and medical care for our homeless animals at the Austin Humane Society. So when the animal comes in, they're seen by our animal services department. Uh, they do all of the workups, so they get all their vaccinations, they get their dewormers, they get tested if they're a dog for heartworm, or if they're a feline patient, they get tested for feline leukemia or feline AIDS. Uh, we give them all microchip to make sure that if the animal does get lost, or in the event that uh, the animal can be traced back to us. All right. Okay, so Tenny, uh, when he arrived here at the Austin Humane Society a few days ago, he was able to get his vaccination. So for dogs, we do, uh, if it's an adult dog, a rabies vaccination, a Bordetella vaccination, so that's for kennel cough. So it's like a, a common cold for a dog, um, and that vaccine usually goes up the nose. And we also do a distemper combo vaccination. And I don't know if you kids have ever heard of parvovirus, but parvovirus is a viral disease that affects the tummy of the animal. So the gastrointestinal tract, so the stomach and the intestines, and it causes them to be very, very sick. And so upon um, arrival to the Austin Humane Society, we wanna make sure that Teddy stays healthy. And so we gave him those vaccines as well as parasitic treatment to make sure that if he does get any environmental parasites that we can treat them and Teddy can be healthy. He also got a microchip, like I said before, that is a little, small little microchip that goes underneath the skin and that will give him a special number. And so with that number, they're traced back to the Austin Humane Society we can say this is everything that he's gotten for care and he's been our animal at one point or another. He also got uh, tested for heartworm disease and heartworm disease is a disease that is transmitted by mosquitoes. And in Texas, we all know that we have a lot of bugs. And so we just took a little blood sample from him and put it in a test and within 10 minutes it gave us either a positive or a negative to make sure that Teddy doesn't have any heartworms. And so that is all the treatment that Teddy got upon arrival to the Austin Humane Society. If Teddy was not neutered or spayed, so Teddy is a boy and he would have something called, a surgery called castration. So castration, we perform here so that the animals can no longer reproduce and it helps us control the overall population in the city of Austin so that we can reassure that Teddy can live his best life and be as healthy as possible and minimize the chances of testicular cancer or prostatic cancer or in a female, ovarian or uterine cancer. cancer. Right, Teddy? Well, Teddy's having a little snack. So we're gonna talk to, you, talk to you a little bit about what to expect on a surgery day. 
So for Teddy, he is not neutered or castrated. And so on the day of surgery, the animals get walked before coming into the surgical suite to make sure that they go to the bathroom. So they eliminate, they urinate, and they defecate, also known as pooping. They will go to the bathroom to make sure everything's empty, and then our team gets ready to prepare for surgery. So what we do is we make the environment very comfortable for the animal because surgery can be very scary. So I know some of you have been to the doctor and a lot of you don't like to go to the doctor, but you know what? The doctor has a job of taking care of you. So it is our job to take care of Teddy. So what we do is we make sure to give him a cozy blanket and a cozy kennel and then we prepare our medical drugs to make sure that Teddy is pain-free and comfortable. So throughout the whole surgery day, we want to make sure that Teddy is well prepared, he is fully under anesthesia, and then he goes safely through the procedure. So once we are done with our castration or our neuter procedure, then Teddy goes into the recovery period. So in the recovery period, some of our technicians will uh, take Teddy's temperature, make sure that it is well above 98 degrees Fahrenheit. So the normal temperature of dogs is 99 to 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So we know that an anesthetic patient will get a little bit colder because the gases that they're getting are about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you think about it, 70 degrees, you have to wear a jacket. It's a little bit chilly. So he will get a little chilly during anesthesia as well. So if he is warm, we want to keep him warm throughout the whole anesthetic and surgical procedure. So during recovery, Teddy will get any vaccinations that he's due for if he didn't already get them during the animal services um, interaction or the intake. Uh, he will also get his nails clipped, so he'll, he'll uh, get a little pet, pedicure and manicure. He will also get um, any ears clean, any procedures that we need to do and we can take advantage of while Teddy is recovering. So once Teddy recovers, then he'll move on to the recovery two floor. So the recovery two floor means he gets put back in his cozy kennel he will stay warm, our staff will watch him to make sure that he isn't having any post anesthetic complications. So that means uh, from the anesthesia, we wanna make sure that he stays safe throughout the whole procedure so that we can keep a close eye on him and then his adopters, once they're here and they're ready to pick him up, we know that Teddy has fully woken up, he is ready to go, maybe he's had a little snack, um, and he's able to walk out and go to the bathroom again before he goes to his forever home.